What is up everyone? Jill here. Welcome back to Whispering Willow Farm. Today Nathan and I are prepping a bed so we can plant our onions, shallots, and leeks. Now I am a little behind but every single year I say this and every single year I have a really decent onion harvest. So I hope um, by saying this it encourages you. There's a lot of flexibility in this especially depending on your zone. So I'm in zone 7b. I'm usually always super super late um, but I still yield a whole lot of onions. So on top of growing onions this year, we are also growing shallots and leeks. Um, we love to cook with shallots and leeks. They just have such a bold, prominent uh, flavor, but also the shallots are gonna store a lot longer than an onion. Is. So we have weeded the bed, which you guys already saw. Um, we have prepped the bed, which means we just broad forked it. And the broad fork's really great because it's super universal. You can kind of, you know, loosen up your soil a little bit, drag it, uh, that way it's a smooth surface. And then the prongs on them, uh, you can also make indentions for your plantings. Now it is the middle of the day here and it's super bright. So I'm gonna be playing behind uh, the camera, trying to make sure that you guys can actually see this. And we will just do a voiceover explaining all the details as far as what you need to know when it comes to planting onions, shallots, and leeks. So let's get started. Plant your onions four to six weeks prior to your estimated last frost. This will allow your plants to establish a good root system prior to the temperature warming up enough to generate leaf development. We plant our onions one to two inches deep and about six inches apart. Then for our in row spacing, we plant them around four inches. This is recommended spacing. However, if you're wanting to plant more densely, just make sure you leave enough room for the onions to bulb up. Yeah. So right now we are planting a sweet white. The variety is called Patterson. And we buy all of our onion sets. We do not try to start these from seeds. And right now we buy all of our onion sets from Dixondale Farms. I'll find them linked below. One thing I like too about Dixondale is you put in your zone and they ship it when it is appropriate for you to be planting. So I got mine in probably around three weeks ago and should have planted them and I hadn't. But if you can't plant them, that's totally fine. Just make sure you take them out of the box that they're in and lay them um, somewhere flat. They come bunched up and that was my problem is I ended up going out of town. I didn't unbunch them so that they could kind of air and dry out some. Um, and so if you do receive your box and you realize you can't do anything with them right away, not a problem. Just make sure, you know, they're kind of spread out and not bunching anymore. Um, we're trying to play around with space here. So we have this long bed. I've got my elephant garlic planted back here. And if we don't have enough space, what we're actually gonna do is take our shallots and plant them in between our elephant garlic because we spaced our elephant garlic so much further apart because they get these massive um, big cloves on them, which is really nice. And so we're just trying to play around here and really just kind of max out this space that we're working with. Leeks prefer cooler climates, but can be grown in all areas. They aren't day link sensitive, so they will continue to grow unless your temperatures just get really hot. You're gonna prepare the soil the same as you would an onion, but you're gonna plant your leeks four to six inches apart, and you're gonna plant them around six inches deep. You wanna make sure that you're only leaving one to two inches of the green top exposed. 
So you're gonna grow your shallots in the same way you would your onions. The only exception here is that you're gonna do a closer planting. We're planting ours about every three inches apart because they're not gonna bulb up like an onion will. All right, DreamWorks makes the teamwork. Mm -hmm. Or wait, teamwork makes the DreamWork. <laughs> I knew what you meant. <laughs> Oh, it is like the perfect day to be doing this too. It feels yeah, it so amazing. I did not think we were going to have enough space. I thought we were going to have to plant the shallots in between the elephant garlic, but we ended up having plenty enough space and could even throw kind of a little grid of like radish or something on the end. Yeah, we threw about a half a dozen onions in there just to see what happens. So. Oh, in between the garlic? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so some of our favorite ways um, to cook with these, because I know for us, onions are a staple, but I know a lot of people that don't actually grow onions or eat onions. And I would say if you're on the fence and you're wanting to explore for culinary reasons, you got to go with a shallot or a leek. Um, mm -hmm. I just recently introduced Nathan to leeks, and now every time we go to the store, he buys them. So Yeah, they have amazing flavor. Yeah, I added in with some really good olive oil anytime that you're making mm -hmm. like your vegetables, right? Saute your leeks. Um, you can even take leeks and make them into purees for like different soups. Um, um, so I was going to try my hand at a celery and leek soup. So they're super versatile, but the shallots, like I'd mentioned, one, if you're on a tighter space, they're going to work better because they're not as big. They're not going to, you know, bulb up like an onion will, but they're going to pack such a rich flavor. I make shallot vinaigrettes all the time, so you can make different dressings with them. Um, and even if you just don't have the storage, you can grow a lot of shallots. They're going to take less space. They're going to store longer, and then you don't need a ton of space uh, to be able to store them either so I think they're really versatile my goal was to kind of convince Nathan that we didn't need to grow onions anymore we just needed to grow shallots and he was kind of just like well grow some shallots and impress me and we'll see yeah uh, all right guys we hope this video was helpful today telling you all of the technical things when it comes to growing onions shallots or leeks and also just to show you how quickly you really can get it done for the two of us it took us no time to knock it yeah. out um, even if you had just about 10 or 15 minutes you'd be surprised how many of these little things you can plant so the, you, the worst part was being on your knees. Yeah, the worst part is being on your knees. Um, but I'll put a link to where we buy our onion sets from. Of course, you can start all of this from seed. However, I just have a tried and true source. It's not really worth the effort, in my opinion. Uh, we grow so many other things from seed. This is one of those. I just buy my potatoes and I buy my onions from somewhere else. And I feel okay about that. Feel good about it. Um, thanks, you guys, for hanging out with us. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.